Hurricane Ian is set to become the largest natural disaster in Florida's history, and we're getting a look at more destruction left behind. Local 10's Jeff Weinsier is in the newsroom with the latest developments. Jeff. At a news conference this afternoon, the governor says 800 rescues have been made, some off the very small barrier islands. We're talking about Pine Island, St. James City, and Matt Lachey, considered old Florida. Parts of these have been demolished, and we were able to fly over that area today. The main road through Pine Island cracked, crumbled, and from the air you can see the obstacles rescue crews are dealing with. Just how difficult it is to get to those who may have stayed behind. Choppers are being used to access this island that is now cut off from the mainland. The governor says crews are going from home to home searching for those who may have been left behind. The bridge to access the island is damaged, but a piece of debris is being used as a patch so survivors can get to the other side. The damage throughout this barrier island is extensive. Many of the homes are older, made of wood. And take a look at this. It's the Bridgewater Inn in a town called Mat Lachey. It used to sit at the foot of a bridge that leads to Pine Island. This is how it used to look from up above, and this is how the town look today. Matt Lachey is an old fishing village in Lee County, population 600, made up of art galleries and boutiques. It's destroyed. From the air, we were also over Sanibel Island today, where a fleet of Coast Guard helicopters was there, hovering, some on the beach, waiting for rescues. They're constantly going. They are doing quick checks, uh, even door to door, uh, to see if there's anybody in need of assistance. I would say the one thing that, that I've seen is as they're going there, you know, you're not seeing a lot of people like hanging out window, just like desperate for help, even the next day. On those small barrier islands, those who still have roofs, they have walls, they say despite not having electricity, despite having no access to the mainland, they are going to stay. In the newsroom, Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.